brought to you by TELUS. Hi there, I'm Mary Murtosh. And I'm Mike Agarbo, and this is App TV. It's your tour through applications, or apps as they're called, and what they can do for you. And whether you're on an iPhone, Android, a Blackberry, or even a tablet, there are apps to suit virtually any need. And we're in need for some good tunes today as we look at what the app world offers to the music maker and music lover. Well, there's tons of apps that deal with music, but let's kick things off, and I mean kick it, with a look at the most popular. <laughs> The iPod app is one of the most used apps for the iPad or iPhone. Basically, you get the look and feel of an iPod in an app with a touchscreen interface. But the iPod app isn't just about music. You can use the app to listen to and organize your audiobooks or even download full lectures from the iTunes University. iTunes U. They have topics and talks from some of the world's top learning institutes. From R&B to PhD, we covered all that ground and we've barely just scratched the surface. Let's see how else the app and music world work in harmony. Although it was reported that radio was apparently killed by the video star, it is alive and well, partially thanks to the radio apps we're going to show you right now. We're starting off with AccuRadio, which gives you access to hundreds of online music channels, complete with a friendly and easy to use interface. And you don't have to worry about sitting through songs you don't like. AccuRadio allows you to skip through songs you don't want to hear, and even ban certain artists so you never have to hear them at all. AccuRadio can also stream in your car through your Bluetooth connection. Keep in mind, this is radio, and radio makes its money off of ads, so you're going to hear the odd commercial here and there. Next is TuneIn Radio. Now unlike AccuRadio, TuneIn Radio does cost you 99 cents, but similar to AccuRadio, it gives you access to tons of radio stations worldwide. And of course, you can customize your listening by selecting genres like talk, sports, news, and podcasts. You can also select stations by language. Try to think of TuneIn Radio like the DVR for radio. You can pause live streams, rewind, and even save songs to listen to again later. The pause feature can pause for as long as half an hour, and you can skip back or forward 30 minutes as well. And when you use the record timer, you can listen back to what you've recorded as often as you like. TuneIn Radio lets you bookmark your favorites, check out album artwork, and view station schedules to see what's coming up. After all, you don't want to miss out that 37th Who reunion. And if you hear a song you like and you want to buy it, buy it through iTunes while it plays. So if you're sick of your iTunes library, AccuRadio or TuneIn Radio might be the remedy you're looking for. It's time to look at the apps that are in high demand. These five could change the way you listen to music, and if you don't listen to music, you really should start. First up, we have Audio Galaxy. This app gives you the power to stream audio from your computer's music library to your phone. Audio Galaxy will also take your list names and identify them in case you have named them something as unique as track one, or dare I say, track two. Next is MyStream, a peer-to-peer -peer sharing app that lets you and others share and stream music or other audio like podcasts or audiobooks on your mobile device. You and a group can listen to music together and you don't even have to be in the same room. It's like the modern day trading of cassette singles. I'll wait while you use Google to find out what a cassette is. Internet radio is not a new idea, but having your own internet radio station might be. Sound Tracker lets you be the DJ and share your station through Twitter, Facebook, and Foursquare. Next up is Audible and its library of audiobooks. You may know it better as audible.com, but with their app, you can shop at their mobile store and have your audible.com library delivered from your computer. You can also access Twitter to tell the world of your literary habits. But as Socrates once said, no one likes a show off. And finally, we have Ardeo. This is an online music subscription service that lets you stream music, create playlists, and share them with others. Check out what friends are listening to on Facebook or Twitter, and maybe share some music advice with each other. You may think that to record an album, you need a band, a studio, and a few thousand bucks. And while that helps, it's certainly not true anymore. GarageBand brings music production to the digital mobile age and is available on the iPad. You don't have to take music lessons or be an audio engineer to use this app. GarageBand basically turns your iPad into a series of instruments and a recording studio. You can choose from dozens of musical instruments and even lay down a vocal track using the iPad's built-in microphone. There's also the option of buying an adapter and plugging your own guitar right into the iPad. 
To get started, select a feature called Smart Instruments. This will create random drum patterns, keyboard beds, and guitar sections, allowing you to play around with a combination of sounds and rhythms until you find a progression you like. You can select from 250 professionally pre-recorded loops to add to your composition as well. You can record up to eight different instruments on separate tracks that can be mixed down to one master. And by mixed, I mean you can adjust the volume level, fade in and out, pan individual tracks, add reverb, echo, and other effects. And once you've got everything the way you want it, export your final mix right to iTunes and prepare to blow the minds of the musical world. For the amateur musician, GarageBand is outstanding, but if you want to try to edit down to the individual note, you'll find this app is pretty frustrating. That means editing out mistakes in a take is difficult, if not impossible, so when you record, you have to get it almost perfect. Also, not every instrument is a breeze. The keyboard can be a little challenging to play, and it's easy to make mistakes based on the key size and setup, especially if you're all thumbs. But that said, with an app like this around, you'll be hearing the phrase, we're putting the band back together from people who were never even in a band. Those were some sweet sounding apps, but we're not done yet. Well, coming up after the break, we'll take a look at a combination of music and gaming that borders on addictive. All that and a whole lot more when App TV continues. Welcome back. Can you carry a tune? Well, we're talking about apps, so of course you can carry them. And what tune you want to play and on what instruments you want to play it on is entirely up to you. This Hot 5 is all about virtual instruments. First up, I've got a surprise, the Ocarina. I know what you're saying, a digital wind instrument, but stay with me. The Ocarina was made famous as the flute used on the Zelda video game and is one of Apple's all-time top 20 apps. Just hold your phone's microphone up to your mouth and blow into it. Covering the virtual holes that appear on the screen with your fingers makes different note combinations. Hot cross buns has never sounded so good. Next on the hit parade, we've got that sound you love to love, the Scottish Highland bagpipes. This app will help you learn the correct fingerings and techniques to properly play traditional pipe songs. And there's more. You can use your iPad's music library to play your favorite tunes and then learn them on the bagpipe. Lady Gaga, why not? Arcade Fire, give it a try. Scotland the Brave, too easy. Well, perhaps the bagpipes aren't relaxing enough for you and you need something more traditional to soothe you. This is where Air Harp comes in. Play your virtual 8-string harp on the iPhone or the full 15-string harp on the iPad. Fun and easy to play, just strum and pluck away to create angelic notes. This next one's a bit pricey, but for $24.99, you can hook up with the iTabla Pro, or as my Indian friends say, the iDabla Pro. If you're looking for something a little more exotic, then this just might be your app. The iTabla Pro allows you to create Indian rhythms using six classical Indian instruments. Adjust the tempo and key to hit some over-the-top sounds playing in this iPod app. And straight from the Caribbean is the real steel pan app for the iPhone and iPad. Turn your mobile device into virtual steel drums and create that sound that makes you feel warm no matter what the temperature is. And although this is a fun app, the skills of an authentic steel drummer don't really come into play here. Music meets gaming in a combination that will put your rhythmic skills and hand-eye coordination to the ultimate test. This app is as addictive as they come. Welcome to Tap Tap Revenge. Tap Tap Revenge, or TTR, was the most downloaded free game in Apple's App Store in 2008, with over 1 million downloads in the first 20 days. So right there, you know this is something worth checking out. They're now on tap four, and that's the version we're going to be spending time with today. The game goes like this. Your screen becomes a platform on which colored balls move to the beat while you play. As the balls move toward you, you tap them to the beat of the music. If you hit the right ball at the right time, you get a point. Performing a combination of touches earns even more points, but of course, it's a little more difficult to execute. TTR comes with a series of songs, and more can be downloaded from within the game. As you play, you earn coins and credits that allow you to access more tracks at the Tap Track store. Higher scores and gathered coins can also unlock new tracks and add them to your library. There are single and multiple player modes, and you can play against others in your area online. And there's a tutorial feature that explains everything and makes it even easier to play. 
Like music, dancing, and gaming, TTR4 has a serious social aspect. You can play or chat with other players, send private messages, and add friends. There are free online battles, weekly contests, and online combat rooms where you can go head to head with others. New games start every few minutes, so finding an opponent is never difficult. There's a new free track added every week, and we're not talking a golden oldie, we're talking top of the charts. Now the app isn't free and offers a few extra features that cost as well, so if you go all out on this app, it could really add up. But overall, if you like music, games, and always find yourself tapping along to whatever beat is rolling around in your head, Tap Tap Revenge 4 is worth a look and a listen. Music has a way of changing people. It can bring people together to change the world for the better. But more often than that, it can drive you insane when you get a song stuck in your head and you can't remember the name of it. Or by remembering the name of a song, but you can't remember how it goes. Now, those problems, along with others, are handled with the following apps, SoundHound and Shazam. But which app is the better of the two to prevent this musical madness? Both Shazam and SoundHound operate on the same basic idea. They help you identify songs in various ways, by listening to them through your smartphone's mic, by entering the name of the song into the app, or by you actually singing or <laughs> humming it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. Let's go test them out. Sounds good. We're going to play an old time track and see which app IDs the song first. So on my smartphone, I'm going to be using uh, SoundHound. And I'm using Shazam. The inferior one. And what we'll we're, see about that. <laughs> what we're going to do is play kind of an obscure track. And it's going to be best if we don't talk while it's trying to recognize uh, the music. So hit All right. We're going to hit the buttons. Go. Awesome oh, sauce. Man. I won! It's actually kind of cool. Both uh, are actually sending the songs up to their online databases to try to recognize the music as it's being played. Both apps also offer info on the song, the artist's connections to the video, links to buy the song, to tour dates, and the artist's webpage. Well now, they can pick out a tune, but can either app identify a song by humming or singing it? Mike? Well, well this is interesting. I'm going to try singing one uh, first. Okay. I see you driving round town with the girl I love, and I say, forget you, forget her too. That was really bad. <laughs> okay, what we got here? Oh, okay, it actually got the censored version, but that's pretty darn close. And you know what was really cool? It actually works with humming too. Check this out, this is cool. All right. Come on, make me look good. It's in Chinese. No, 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 no. There's one there. There's Daydream Believer by the Monkees, and Murray covered it as well. Great job, Mike. Well, I obviously have an Asian tone in my humming. Yes, you do. <laughs> one last thing to note about these two apps, both have full and free versions available. In the free versions, Shazam only allows five music discoveries per month, but there's no limit to the number of tags with SoundHound. And although both work well for popular songs, I do find that SoundHound recognizes some more of the esoteric ones, and it's great for uh, singing and humming. And speaking of singing, sing us out, Miriam. Or we can just check out D segment and see what apps to avoid. I can do a bit of Bon Jovi. <laughs> Whoa, living on a prayer. 